sir uh, sir the judge uh, i have a doubt to clarify sir okay the judges remain the same for both the batches or no, no. do we have uh, uh, judges uh, are different uh, yes, i will sir? introduce the judges yeah the judges list for batch number 3 has been sent sir for batch, batch number 4 four, as i am increasing i did not send i will okay, now sir? once you start this fine sir because we have to uh, introduce the judges no sir i will introduce you start okay fine sir thank you sir yes uh, sir i will introduce fine sir uh, a warm welcome and a very good morning to one and all who are present here for this uh, presentation i would like uh, nazir sir to introduce the judges for today's presentation uh, bismillah ar rahman ar rahim uh, today uh, for the session a student presentation by uh, for the physical science uh, we have the judges Uh, Dr. Alia Beham, uh, a senior professor from <coughs> University Women's College, Hyderabad, and we have with us Sister Shamim Raja. You all are very familiar. Uh, she has conducted a three webinar for you, and uh, she is a principal, Arhamania International School, Melur. uh or to your sister thank you sir thank you sir, uh, for, uh, for introducing the judges for today i would like to call upon the first candidate for today pps05 tahira banu s from limra international school i repeat candidate number pp50s05 tahira banu s from limra international school Tahira, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, it's on your list. Oh, okay. Uh. more magnets result in a louder or better quality of sound my this idea strikes me when i happen to see a video of making a speaker with a paper cup a speaker is a device which converts the electrical energy into sound energy inside the speaker there are several components of which the magnets are most important in this project i made a trial to see whether the number of magnets stacked inside or self engineered speaker would produce a different volume if the number of magnets inside were different in this project i tried with the ferrite magnets to make speaker I used the paper plate, craft glue, sandpaper, etc. These materials were easily available. A paper speaker was made with the paper plate. To start the experiment, the volume of the amplifier is turned down all the way. Now the amplifier is turned up. Slowly, the knob on the amplifier is turned up until the music was heard. The volume was adjusted to a comfortable level. The, this experiment was conducted in a quiet room. A 
and the data table was made and the reading pad either added or subtracted from the stack this experiment was started from the seven magnet and proceeded till decreasing one magnet after the experiment was performed and the data from the table i made a conclusion that the number of magnets do in fact affect a speaker volume and a graph was also drawn to study the effect of number of magnets as a volume of sound in decibels and i also made a speaker with a foam plate at that time is also made to study the same effect if a number of if a plastic cup is used in a place of paper plate now also i i also prepared a display board my hypothesis is this more magnets result in a louder or better quality of sound my abstract is this idea strikes me when i happen to see a video of making a speaker statement of prob of the problem it is possible to construct a speaker from a paper plate this paper speaker can be used for a smartphone i prefer two tablet columns one is paper plate tablet column another one is plastic foam plate tablet column one is i also prefer two graph one is foam plate graph another one is flat paper plate graph when i started from seven magnet prior one Trial one, fifty-eight. Trial two, fifty-nine. Trial three, sixty-two. Average is fifty-nine point six. Volume of sound in decibel sixty. Like this, I start with seven magnet. Trial one, sixty. Trial one, trial two, fifty-eight. Trial three, fifty-nine. Average fifty-nine. Volume of sound in decibel also fifty nine. Now I will demonstrate it. There are five types of mic. I connect with fourth mic. This is input wire. This is output wire. I am going to connect with output wire. Now. Now I am going to place the ferrite magnet in paper speaker. I place the magnet. Now I am going to on. Amplifier. Now you can see a speaker is working. Now I am going to say Sura. Aoudu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil alamin. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين يا قنا أذو ويا قنا سين يهدنا فراط المستقيم فراط الذين نعز عليهم غير الغير مقبول عليهم بالضبطي. Now I'm going to measure the sound in a Google Sound Journal app. This is sound decibel meter. Aoud billahi ra shaytani ra dim. Bismillahi ra rahmani ra rahim. Alhamdulillahi ra bil alamin. 
الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعوذ وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغبوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين And I also made the photo album. This is my photo album. Assalamu alaikum Tahira. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, your confidence level is very good, Tahira. You are a fourth star student, fourth class student. Am I right? That's what you have introduced yourself that you are from uh, uh, yes, the standard. Right? Yes, okay. So, according to your hypothesis, you have explained that uh, uh, the paper plate is uh, better or plastic plate is better to be used as a paper speaker. And I cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? Ah, yes, ma'am. Yeah, your work is very innovative, uh, Tahira. It's a new concept which you have... Uh, uh taken as your project so according to you paper speaker uh, ma'am your voice is not, the voice is not clear ma'am your voice is not clear ma'am my voice is not clear now is it audible yes, now ma'am now yeah. i can hear you okay According to your hypothesis, which is better, paper or plastic? Paper plate, ma'am. Paper plate. Okay. How are you going to use this in future? How, how are you going to use this in future? I can use it as homemade paper plate, paper speaker, ma'am. Okay. So you want to use in future? Uh, as paper speaker to deliver the talk or for any other purposes. What ma'am? Ma'am? Hello. Hello, Tahira. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. How are you going to use it yourself uh, in future? This uh, speaker which you have uh, 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 showed us today. How are you going to make use of it yourself? For myself, I use this speaker hmm? by making myself. For what? For what purpose you'll be using? To hear. What purpose? The, to hear the sound, ma'am. Okay, to hear the sound. Yourself, or you are going to deliver your talks on Khirat, you are going to deliver your uh, lectures or explanation in future as a teacher? What, ma'am? How are you going to make use of this in future? What you have uh, uh, discovered or uh, prepared today, how are you going to make use of it? Are you going to make use of it only for the science fair you have just... Uh, taken up and then you will leave us uh, this aside. I also used for smartphone also ma'am. You, you are going to use it for the smartphone also. Okay make mm -hmm. use of it and then you try to uh, modify it. Go for some other. Today you have just uh, taken up two. Okay one is paper and the other one is plastic. Okay. So yes, in future you can go for other materials also. There are so many uh, like uh, you now you are fourth standard and as you further for your uh, higher uh, studies 
you will come across the other materials which can be used other than this paper and the plastic uh, uh, make use of this uh, uh, to for what speaker it's it's nice uh, tahira i wish all the very best to you and i really appreciate your confidence level uh, at a very small age of okay i wish all the very best to you thank you so much thanks ma'am jazakallah ma'am yeah tahira yes ma'am yeah uh, first of all uh, congrats hearty congratulations for your presentation mashallah wonderful explanation jazakallah ma'am uh, all the best for your uh, future and your best too as ma'am said uh, inshallah uh, try to uh, update those uh, experiment using different materials you can use different magnets too moving forward to your higher studies you can uh, use different magnets to currently you did your experiment using which magnet ferrite magnet ma'am uh, there are many types of magnets you can test with other magnets too yes ma'am it is new time ma'am and also that ma'am inshallah and all the best jazakallah thank you judges i call upon the next candidate PPS zero six Mohammad Ashik N from Limra International School. I repeat, PPS zero six Mohammad Ashik N from Limra International School. Ashik, are you there, Ashik? Yes, ma'am. One minute, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. I am in Ashik. Waalaikum. I have done my project using pencil. It is a Pencil. Ashik, first relax and then you start. Yeah, first relax yourself and then you start. Yes. Assalamu alaikum to everyone. I am an Ashik from Great Book. I have done my project using pencil. It is a pencil dimmer switch. A dimmer switch can be constructed using a pencil and the length of the pencil affects the brightness of a light in a simple circuit. It will switch the center to control the brightness of a light anywhere from completely off to full brightness. There are so many types of switches that can dim the light, either knobs or slides. This project aims at constructing a dimmer switch using a pencil and to study if the length of the pencil affects the brightness of the light. The material used in this project where is the available battery. Bulb, battery holder, alligator clip, mini light bulb, mini bulb screw, axara, platinum, graphite, HP pencil, five number, and ruler, axa, permanent marker, multimeter, and lux meter. Number two pencil was used in this project. Pencil are the only important requirement in this project. A circuit was made using batteries, alligator clips, and a pencil dimmer. The wood follows to a switch along the side of the pencil with the help of a knife so that the graphite core could be exposed. A ruler and a permanent marker was used to mark from the tip of the pencil and after every one centimeter was made along the length of the wood. This project was connected to the battery stand Well, here the alligator clip was used to as a slider by pressing it onto the graphite or rod and punch along the length of the pencil. Two more trials were repeated. Average brightness was calculated for each distance, and the results were analyzed. Using the results, the results were studied. Also, if the resistance values were fixed using multiple individual pencil resistors, the brightness of the bulb was noted. Multimeter was 
used to do to measure the resistance at various nursing homes and the amount of current ambient for each and to study the home flow which relates the current and resistance. I have prepared the display board. I have prepared tabular column one, tabular column two, tabular column three. First tabular column is core length, which is brightness. The core length is increased. The brightness is decreased. Cross section. Tabular column two. Resistance which is better. The resistance is increased. The brightness is decreased. Tabular column two plus is here. Tabular column three. The voltage is voltage which is current. The voltage is increased. The current also increased. Third tabular column graph is here. My independent variable is length of entrance. My dependent variable is brightness of the light. My control variable is Type of pencil used. From the data collected, it is evident that as the length of the pencil increase the resistance also. I increase and so the brightness of the bulb decrease. The resistance of the circuit determines how many current flows through it. I demonstrated it now. Ashikayo, unmute yourself and talk. Ashik, your voice is in mute. We are not able to hear you, Ashik. Not able, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. No, it's right audible. now it is audible. Take uh, Google Science Zero Lab and touch sensor. Yeah. yeah. Very good, uh, Ash. Uh, what you. made you take up this uh, dimmer switch as your uh, presentation? Uh, 
What ma'am? How did you get this idea of uh, dimmer switch? I check the dimmer switch and uh, I see the pencil dimmer switch in Google. Ma'am. Okay. So how are you going to make use of this? Are you going to do uh, extensive work on this or just you want to stop today itself? What Any new ideas you got after taking up this uh, presentation on the dimmer switch? Any new ideas? No, ma'am. You don't have any new ideas, sir. Yes, okay. Okay, Ashika. All the very best to you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, Ashik, uh, very good. Uh, uh, Ashik, can you please show, uh, show the other pencils that you used in this project? Yes, ma'am. Pencil. Uh, how many pencils did you use in this project? Ma'am, one pencil, ma'am. I'm not asking the type. The same type, in that same type, type. how many pencils did you use? This is HP pencil, ma'am. Absara drawing HP pencil, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, what is the role of pencil in your project? In the circuit, what role uh, does the pencil play? Um, In this uh, circuit, uh, what is the role of this pencil? Uh, sister? Yeah, sister. Yeah, sir. Uh, uh, you asked him in Tamil. Uh, in the project, in the pencil, you spun it, King Ella. Yes, ma'am. Uh, in the pencil in the project, la, in a role play panadama. I paning a soning a calculate panirking a resistance calculate panirking a uh, voltage calculate panirking a current measure panirking a lamp panirking a in the pencil vandu, in the circuit la in a role play panadama. Ma'am, resistance. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, fine, fine, Yashik. Yeah, fine. Thank you and all the best. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, judges. And uh, thank you, Ashik. We move on to the next candidate in line. PTS07, Salman S. Also from Limra International School. I repeat, PTS07, Salman S from Limra International School. Yes, ma'am. Assalamu alaikum. May I start? Yes, Salman, you can start. Assalamu alaikum to all. I am Salman, of the standard. My title of work is Feed from the Light Bulb. My hypothesis is all red types of light bulb produce the same amount of feed. The water is only after water each light bulb produced. There are also three different basic types of light bulbs. Incalation, fluorescent, high intensity discharge. Each type works a little differently. There are also three different There are also advantages and disadvantages with different types of light bulb. Elegance for intense. View of growth sunlight type of light bulb. Uh, Salman, uh, excuse me, Salman. Uh, those who are recording the video, please uh, uh, keep the mobile in a proper place. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, please. May and there are I some background again. noises too. Others, please uh, be quiet. May I say again? Yeah, yeah, please. You continue, ma. Yes, ma'am. Assalamu alaikum to all. I am Salman, of standard. My title of project is Feed from the Light Bulb. 
My hypothesis is all same types of flying bulbs produce the same amount of heat. The wattage only affects the heat that will produce. There are also three different basic types of flying bulbs: incandescent, fluorescent, and incandescent. Heat works a little differently. There are also three differences within each of the heat groups. Bulbs come in different shapes. Size, advantages, and advantages. There are also advantages and disadvantages with different types of light bulb. Halogens, for instance, throw a glow on light type of light, but the trend of the bulb very hot. Fluorescent lighting is more economical to run, and cold but generally don't come in a lot of attraction. Different voltages of BFL and incandescent like bulbs rated as 25 watts, 40 watts, 60 watts, 100 watts. But taken with an action sensor. Other material required were different voltage of incandescent bulbs, CFL bulbs, a ruler, a thermometer, a white towel, a stopwatch, a bulb holder. The towel put on the flat table, the lamp arranged with the bulb was put on the end of the towel on the table. The thermometer kept under the light of the lamp. The distance between the thermometer and the uh, bulb was measured in a ruler. The reading were recorded in a data table. From the, from the tabular column, I saw both in cancer and the CFL bulbs. It is clear that as the wattage increases, the increases in temperature also increase. For the for when temperature Temperature the measured was taken for five minutes. The changes increases temperature was three degree Celsius for hundred watts. In Kensington bulbs, two degree Celsius for sixty watts. In Kensington also CFL bulbs, it was noted as two degree Celsius for twenty watts, one degree Celsius for eighteen watts. Also, if distance was kept constant for a particular types of bulb and time and time of measured as 15 minutes, in, in the increases in temperature changes as follows for uh, 100 watts. CFL bulbs, it was 9 degrees Celsius for 60 watts. It was 7 degrees Celsius. Also for 20, C 20 watt CFL bulbs, it was noted as 7 degrees Celsius for 18 watts. 4 degrees Celsius. All these di dis discussion clear so that I, as the wattage has increased, as temperature also increases, when compared with CFL and found it, to emit a less heat than incandescent of the time of conservation increases. The temperature also increases. In the ca in case, also that CFL bulbs found to better than, than the incandescent bulbs. I have made the graph, graphs, graph 1, graph 2, graph 3, graph 4. And I have made the tabular column. Tabular column 1, tabular column 2, tabular column 3, tabular column 4. My project is uh, take uh, many more time. So I, so I show the material. Thank you. Put on the light. Like this. The thermometric kit and the light of the lamp. Now the now the room temperature is 30, 30.5. Next, I made up the conclusion. From the result, it is concluded that all same types produce. The same amount of heat, the voltage only affects the east light bulb produced. Mm -hmm. Thus proving my hypothesis to the law. Mm -hmm.
Very good, Salman. Thank you. This project is very good, and I wish all the very best to you for your future and and you. Very good. Yeah, Salman. Very good. Mashallah, nice presentation. Uh, Salman, what made you uh, to select this project, ma? Why did you select this project? Yes, ma'am. Incubator, ma'am. The incubator. The, yeah, the project. Uh, ma'am, this bulb is used for incubator. This is the incubation bulb to main of the incubator. This bulb. Okay, okay, Salman. I wish you all the best. Uh, thank you, judges. We now move on to our next candidate, MPS nineteen, Mohammed Akbar from New Model High School. I repeat, MPS nineteen, Mohammed Akbar from yes, New Model High School. You are there, pa? Akbar, you are there, nine? Do we have more Akbar in line? I'm audible. Yes, you're audible. You're audible. You can start. My name is Mama Akbar. I am studying here at class. I'm A little louder, please. A little louder, please. My topic name is Snake Robot. The major aim of Serpentine Search Robot. Is to find and identify living things under a bush and log on to their signals until they are reached. Since the object in robot environment is expanded to change and used to decide next desired position of the snake robot. Abstract. The versatile reptile made up of cell part and is capable for different of different types of locomotion, including settling, in form, side riding, and rolling. Variables, independent variables, remote function button, like left, right, front, back, dependent variables, moment of the snake robot, control variable, design of a model, RC function of a model. Problem, it will be, it will be very difficult to go to narrow space, that robot can solve this issue. Hypothesis, by using snake robot problems, venturing to a narrow space can be resolved. The materials required are battery, battery cable, RC module, motor, tires, switch, wires. And we can put one camera on it and we can send this to army. Army can check the what enemies are doing and we can send this to tunnels to check the condition of tunnels. Here is my robot. Now I, go, I, I want to show how it works. Here, here is snake robot remote. Here is antenna. Here also antenna. We on the switch. Here it works. I use two batteries to give more power to the snake. It contains RC module. The RC module full form is remote control module. Here is the remote of this snake robot. Thank you. Yeah, Akbar. Uh, snake is a reptile, right? So yes, why sir. did you use only snake for your project? Can we use any other reptiles also? My question to you. Yes, ma'am. We can use, but this is a unique idea. I I think this is great because it can be going to a, such narrow places, ma'am. 
So, what are the other applications? As you said, this can be used for venturing. Yes. What are the other applications? Any other application? This is the only one of this uh, snake robot because we are moving. In, uh, we are into robotic stage. Pardon? And we can give to army. Okay. And mountains also. It can. It can. And we can put more powerful batteries also. Okay. Okay. I wish all the very best to you. Thank you. Uh, one more question. Salman. Akbar, sir. Muhammad Akbar. Akbar. Muhammad Akbar. Listening? Muhammad Akbar. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, yes uh, actually, uh, you showed a slide showing the dependent variable and independent variable. Yes. Uh, you, uh, you have shown that the independent variable as the locomotion. And uh, but you have not studied any variation and uh, presented any data. Why you should have? Yes, sir. Uh, you should have varied. No, you would have varied the dependent variable, and you should have observed, and you would have collected the data. But uh, no such experiment you have done. See, I am not able to hear, sir. What you are saying? You 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 stated the <clears throat> dependent variable, independent variable, and the constant as a design, but yes, uh, you have not done any experiment by varying the variable. Hello. You specified it, but you have not tried. Sir, because of I not get proper items for it. Materials. Yes, yes, I do understand. Uh, actually, it is an engineering model. For yes. the given design, you should have uh, specified what is the expected locomotion. And uh, you should have clearly stated for this model, for the design, this is the locomotion expected. And uh, this you have to state at the beginning. That is a question. That is a problem, and at the end, uh, what locomotion you achieved? Uh, how much movement is achieved? You have to Run, sir. Uh, measure. You would have observed, and uh, you should have given it. Only yeah. front, sir. Maybe in terms of efficiency, he may extend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he may check how efficient is his robot is. Yeah. Sir, yeah. I didn't get proper materials. No, no. See, it's not that uh, uh, in research, no. Uh, first thing is you should be in position to procure uh, whatever you need for the project. Then only you have to proceed for the project. Okay? Okay. Sir. Fine. So you can proceed. Okay, Akbar. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Nazir, sir, and thank you, judges. Uh, thank you, Akbar. The next candidate is MPS20, Mohamed Badiullah, also from New Model High School. I repeat, MPS20, Mohamed Badiullah, New Model High School. Good morning. Uh, my name is Mohamed Badiullah, and I'm studying in seventh class from New Model High School, Dubai, in Dubai. So my project name is the smart mirror. So the question was that, uh, can smart mirror help us to save time and track tasks efficiently? Hypothesis. Smart mirror can help save time, track tasks efficiently. So in today's busy world, nobody has time to do anything, like anything. Imagine starting day, sitting and tracking your task by your phone. As usual, it takes a lot of time. It can be eased by using some device, which will get track of your task, get news, weather, time, traffic, all your notifications up to date while on the go. A smart mirror is a two-way mirror with an electronic display behind the glass. The display will show the viewer different kinds of information such as weather, time, date, news, etc. So, smart mirror is a 
muscle is basically in four pieces computer monitor a raspberry pi two mirror glass and a frame so for my project i used the raspberry pi 3 which is a credit card size pocket computer it has usb ports in it ethernet hdmi hdmi is important because we are going to connect computer monitor to it so the basic premise is that you lay the two way mirror over your computer monitor shines through so it looks like the mirror is the thing that's actually projecting the image variable independent variable internet access and search dependent variable functions and uh, results display on screen like uh, calendar youtube google control variable raspbian os monitor so right here is the smart mirror in first sight it looks like a normal mirror but we turn it on it becomes a dynamic looking smart mirror so as you can see right here so as you can see right here it is showing uh, as you can see time 10:52 am and uh, date and month april 4 it is also having different types of widgets like calendar and there are some different types of social platforms chrome facebook gmail right here it is showing performance of raspberry pi and cpu and the smart mirror is also having different types of reminders like birthday reminder and anniversary reminder meeting reminder etc so you all will think that why my project is named as smart mirror so the reason is because the smart mirror will show us how much traffic is there close to us and uh, it has reminders we can even listen to spotify songs in it and uh, we can, uh, it shows date time so this is all your technology and this is our normal mirror we combine it it becomes our smart mirror thank you Oh, Mohammed. Yes. Yeah. What are the what are the data you collected to check the efficiency of the mirror? Did you collect any data? Yes. It. It says our time. And uh, we can listen. Yeah, that's what I am asking. Uh, you are telling it saves the. time how how you are saying it will say that save time and what are the data proofs you have um uh, but you laugh yes sir Actually, again uh, like the last uh, student did there uh, is the same kind of engineering project and uh, you have defined again the dependent variable that as the display and the independent variable as the internet access but yes. you have not varied the uh, variable and study and uh, measured how the uh, what you claim the mirror response to that is what the judge is asking so in an experiment you have to do a uh, variation you have to measure you have to collect the data uh, that that is not carried out uh, actually we indicated in the secondary level also when we submitted the synopsis uh, research plan itself uh, we indicated it and uh, but they, it has not been carried out okay uh, other judges can question yeah see if you don't uh, present the data then it will be just like a normal exhibit or a model okay so data collection and performing an experiment for the project is very very important okay so you okay. see to make that in future you are going to collect the data you are going to do it experimentally 
okay if you are saying that it is very uh, it's smarter than the normal things and all you should have a proof for that that i have done these studies and i have come to know that uh, the smartphone which i have uh, discovered is more efficient than the uh, conventional ones which are uh, available okay so i wish all the very best to you thank you ma'am welcome okay i'll try to collect the data all the best mahmud inshallah try to improvise your project thank you thank you judges and uh, thank you nazir sir for the kind input uh, with, i call upon the next candidate mps 21 raina parvin from sana smart school i repeat mps 21 raina parvin i from sana smart school Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Rana Parveen from Sana Smart School, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Today, in every important places, public places and apartments require fire alarm. And my project is simple fire alarm. The research question of my project is, does the time taken by the alarm increases when the distance increases? Is heat energy involved in this fire alarm? Hypothesis, abstract. The fire alarm working principle was based on the thermistor. Thermistors are used in temperature sensors. They, they can be found in everyday appliances such as fire alarms, ovens, and refrigerators. They are also used in digital thermometers and in many automotive applications to measure temperature. Here, I use a temperature to measure the temperature, thermometer to measure the temperature. The hypothesis of my project is If the temperature increases beyond a certain value, the fire alarm identity and indicators are providing a sound. The independent variable of my project is the temperature. The dependent variable is the sound produced by the alarm, and the control variable is the thickness of the wire and size of the battery. Introduction. The most essential electronic device at home or in industry or any other place where there is a chance of fire accidents to happen is fire alarm. The fire alarm can be can be defined as a circuit which is used for indicating us. And by by using fire alarm, we can reduce financial loss and property loss. Also, we can save people's lives. The procedure to continue my project is: take a piece of a cardboard. You require a switch, a nine volt battery, a buzzer, and a capacitor from tube light. First, soldering a wire from a battery and a buzzer to the switch then soldering another wire from the battery and the uh, buzzer to the capacitor can give you a very simple fire alarm here study of electronic components used switch electrical switch are used to perform all electrical functions they are designed to break or make flow of connectivity of electricity in electronic circuit automatically or manually the type of switch i use here is SPST switch, single pole, single throw switch. Buzzer. A buzzer or beeper is an audio signaling device which may be mechanical, electromechanical, or piezoelectric. The type of buzzer I use here is piezoelectric. Nine volt battery. The nine volt battery is a common size of battery that was introduced for the early transistor radios. When capacitor. Capacitor are passive components, meaning that they do not require external power for them to fulfill their role. Here. Uh, the capacitor detects the fire because when the switch is in on position, when the fire reaches to the uh, starter, the the copper wire inside the starter will detect the fire and it will close the circuit. By this, the, the energy from the buzzer will uh, help the uh, buzzer to provide the sound. Results. Uh, here I have taken the data table of. The uh, temperature in this uh, temperature of the starter when the distance of the fire uh, increases. I have also taken the reading of the time taken by the alarm in seconds when the distance of the fire is near. The time taken for is uh, H one degree Fahrenheit. That is more than one or nine point two degree Fahrenheit. And when it is two centimeter far from the starter, it takes fifteen point eight eight point seconds. To alert us, and the temperature of the uh, starter is more than one or nine point two degree Fahrenheit. And when it is five centimeter far from the five centimeter far from the starter, it takes twenty four point nine one seconds to alert us, and the temperature is one or four point eight degree Fahrenheit. When it is six point five centimeter far, 
from the starter it takes 86 seconds to alert us and the temperature is 99 uh, sorry, it is 100.7 degree fahrenheit and then it is 8 cm uh, 100 cm sorry 10 cm far it is takes 101 seconds to alert us and the temperature is 98.8 uh, degree fahrenheit by this we can say that the, when the distance increases the time taken by the alarm also increases and here I have provided the data of the death caused by fire accidents in 2017. And the second data represents the death caused by fire accidents in 2019. 2017, India has the largest, that is nearly 27,000 people died due to fire accidents. And then comes the China. China takes in place with uh, second place that it takes uh, the death caused by fire accidents in China is 10,836 deaths. Then in USA, it is 3,645 deaths. And in Australia, 900 people died due to fire accidents. In 2019, again, India has the largest number of deaths. That is, India has taken 10,915 deaths. And you, uh, USA has the second place. That is, it takes 2,980 deaths. And China just takes 17 deaths. And Australia has 71 deaths caused by fire accidents. Conclusion. In conclusion, I would like to declare that my hypothesis was right and the result I, uh, was the same I thought of. That is, when the temperature increases beyond the certain values, the fire alarm identity and indicates us to provide a sound. The answer for my research question was, yes, that uh, the time taken by the alarm increases when the distance increases. Yes, heat energy is involved in this fire alarm. Jazakallah khair. Yeah, Parveen, your presentation is good. Now, my question to you is, in the beginning, you said that uh, by varying the temperature as well as by varying the batteries also, as far as I remember. So did you use different batteries or only one type of battery for uh, carrying out your studies? Uh, no, ma'am. I use only one type of battery, that is 9-volt battery. Okay. So uh, is there an, if, we, if we change the bat battery, is there any effect? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, it, it, it's the same result, but I use the 9 volt battery because it lasts longer than other batteries. Okay. Very good answer. Very good. All the best. Thank you. Uh, one more question. Yes. Actually, I uh, really appreciate uh, the student and the guide. Uh, when the, I, I remember when the research plan was submitted, the variables were not uh, mentioned and uh, no study was even proposed. And I remember I called the teacher guide and uh, suggested you can do the variation without understand the variable and do perform the experiment. And uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, you have carried out that uh, experiment, you have collected the data. Uh, from your experiment, uh, um, that is uh, independent variables, you have kept it as the uh, distance and the temperature and uh, dependent variable as the time taken for the alarm to give alarm. So, yes. very good. But uh, uh, in doing an experiment, you have to vary one variable at a time. Other variables you need to keep constant. But in your table, I do understand you varied distance and time at a time. Yes. Uh, you varied from the table. You showed the table where the first column is, uh, I think, uh, distance. Second yes. column is temperature. Uh, both are varying. And you measured the uh, time, response time you measured. But you shouldn't do that. You understand what I say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Actually, what you need to do is you have to keep the temperature constant, vary only distance, and you would have measured the response time. Okay. Again, okay. Uh, you have to keep the distance constant, vary the temperature, you would have measured the response time, you would have uh, get the two set of uh, data, you can... Uh, you would have put the two table, but okay. uh, nicely carried out. Okay, Thank you. fine. Thank you. Good work.
Yeah, very good, Rene. Good presentation. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your informative suggestion to the candidate. And thank you, judges. I next call upon uh, MPS 22, A. Muhammad Ashfaq from Sana Model School. MPS 22, A. Muhammad Ashfaq from Sana Model School. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. You can carry on, pa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm A. Muhammad Ashfaq of Class 8 from Sana Model School, Chennai. The topic of my project is energy saving smart lamp. The main question of my project is how does the energy saving smart lamp save energy or does it save energy? The purpose of making the smart lamp is to save energy by uh, switching on only when it detects human motion. Now, only when it detects human motion. The procedure of making the smart lamp is according to the circuit diagram. Uh, the components required are PAR sensor, 5 watts relay, BC547 transistor, IN4007 diode, A20 ohm resistor, 5V DC supply, light bulb, bulb holder, and an AC supply. Let's see about these components in brief. PAR sensor, passive infrared sensor. It detects the human motion in the form of IR radiation and sends the signal uh, as, and sends it as an electrical signal. 5 watt relay. Relay is an electromagnetic switch. It, uh, it, is, uh, it is operated by a very small current, but can control a much larger current. Then BC547 transistor. Transistor is, uh, is uh, used as an electrical ele electrically controlled switch. It, it does not require any human interference. It is also acts as an amplifier. Then we have resistor. Resistor is used to resist or limit current. It prevents from overheating. And finally, diode. Diode is used to make the current flow on a forward direction. Now let's see about this working procedure. Connections are given according to the circuit diagram. When the motion is detected by the sensor, it sends the motion in the form of IR radiation as an electrical signals to the relay, uh, to the transistor. Now the transistor can power up its uh, load, that is relay. Now the relay allows the much larger current to flow through the bulb. Now the bulb gets on. When there is no motion detected by the sensor, all of this process will not be possible. As I was walking through my uh, surroundings, I found that many uh, bulbs and other electronic appliances are, are running on with no one using it. So I thought of making this smart lamp to bring awareness among people for using it. Uh, the, this, uh, this is the research that is carried out by me. Uh, I have used different types of bulb and uh, uh, watts in us. Uh, if uh, incandescent bulb, LED bulb, CFL bulb, and smart lamp is used for one hour, incandescent lamp uses 60 watts, whereas LED lamp uses 8.5 watts, CFL lamp uses 3.4 watts, whereas smart lamp uses just 3.4 watts. Then if we use it for 24 hours, incandescent lamp uses 1,440 watts, Whereas LED lamp uses 204 watt, CFL lamp uses 336 watt, whereas smart lamp just uses 81.6 watt. And this research is according to the Central Statistics Office Ministry, Government of India. This is the consumption of electricity by different sectors in India. It shows that domestic power consumption is about 24% in total nation. Uh, domestic power consumption is the household, uh, household energy consumed. Uh, based on this statistics, domestic power consumption has increased about 7.58% in last 10 years. This is also according to the Energy Statistics of India. It says that uh, production of electricity in India uh, uses 87% of na fossil fuels, like natural gases, crude petroleum, lignite, and coal. So we as a uh, responsible citizen should focus on energy saving projects to save energy. Now let's have a simple case study. If a 60 watt normal bulb is used uh, for 12 hours per day, uh, when we use it for, uh, when we use four bulbs for 30 days, we consume about points, uh, we consume about 86.4 units. But 
total power used only when human percent is only 40%. Therefore, we can say about 60% of total consumption. Power saving units is 35 units per month. Uh, here I have the prototype. It did, it, when it directs motion, it becomes on. When it does not direct any IR radiation, it will automatically off within 10 seconds. We can set, that, uh, set the time delay of this of this lamp. And we can also set the sensitivity. Now, power saving is one of the vital factors to save our environment for our future generation. Consuming more power leads to higher depletion of fossil fuels like coal, natural gas, and petroleum. The world is moving towards eco-friendly uh, eco power optimization and production uh, through simple energy saving measures like using energy carefully and through energy saving projects. Such one of them is energy saving smart map. So as a result for the question, uh, we get that energy, yes, energy saving smart lamp can save energy by switching on only when it detects human motion and will automatically off when there is no motion detector. Uh, I learned about uh, uh, different electric components like sensors, uh, resistors, transistors, relay, and diode. I learned about how to calculate the power and uh, circuit making and its function. I, I learned about energy statistics of India and rapid increase in domestic power consumption. And, uh, and I found that 87% of fossil fuels are used to produce an energy. Jazakallah uh, khair, assalamu alaikum. Mohamed, uh, can you please uh, explain what is the independent and dependent variable of your project? Independent variable is the smart lamp and the dependent variable is the uh, power, uh, power consumed. Uh, independent uh, variable is the type of lamp and dependent variable is the power consumed. So actually uh, in the uh, independent uh, variable, uh, you need to use different lamp to compare the energy consumed, right? Yes, ma'am. So what are the lamps you, you used in this project for comparison? I use incandescent lamp, LED lamp, CFL bulb, and smart lamp. Yeah, those are the independent variables. Yes, ma'am. I explained it, ma'am. Okay, Ashwath. Sure. Uh, Ashwath, yes, uh, one important thing is uh, yes. you have compared, you have designed a lamp yes, sir. and uh, you have compared with LED and other uh, that are yes, normally available. Yes, sir. But uh, you have fabricated the lamp, you claim it as the smart lamp. And yes, uh, when there is a human movement, it uh, lights up. In the absence, it puts off its own yes, sir. and you have, you have also explained uh, the components in the your uh, device yes sir the transistor diode yes, sir. and the resistor and all that you uh, you have mentioned but yes, actually uh, i also after seeing your research plan i, I do suggested to uh, measure the efficiency of the your device. See, okay. human movement it, uh, with the human human movement it uh, puts on and puts okay. off. Then, how much distance at what distance it will uh, uh, put off and put on? The maximum uh, distance it can uh, send is six meters, sir. No, not uh, you. You have not presented in table. You you should have measured it uh, exactly and present. You are okay. roughly telling no data. You are presenting. Okay, so sorry. That distance, no. You are telling six meter. Yes, that sir. Meter is the dependent variable, and other variables could be. Uh, the transistor and other components which you have used. So when you vary the capacity of the transistor, whether the distance to which it senses may vary. Does it uh, depend on or not? You have to say, if so, 
uh, by varying the capacity of the transistor, varying the type of the transistor, uh, how the distance varies. You should have studied. That is what is the exactly the physical uh, experiment uh, project. But okay, it focuses more on uh, economy, the power consumption keeping your, your device to one device and uh, using that device you are compared with the other devices and you studied only the uh, how the power consumption vary but you would go into the efficiency of the lamp how the efficiency depend on the uh, uh, properties of the components that kind of study you should have carried on Okay. Okay, sir. I'll carry this uh, in my future. Phone, inshallah. Good, good. Nice. Thank you. All the very best, Ashraf. Thank you. All the best, Ashraf. Thank you. Thank you, Ashraf. And uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir, for sharing your valuable ideas for the candidate. I next call upon MPS 23. Rushda Fatima from Olive International School. I repeat, MPS 23, Rushda Fatima from Olive International School. Fatima, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, you're audible. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Rushda Fatima. I'm studying grade six in Olive International School. My topic today is how to make an aircraft invisible to radar. My question, which shape, color, and material is used in aircraft designing can help achieve the best stealth? My hypothesis is we shape aircraft using lighter shades of color like yellow and non-reflective materials and crumbled angular surfaces rather than metals help to achieve maximum stealth. A short introduction on stealth. Stealth technology is not just one technology, but a variety of methods that is used to decrease the distance at which a vehicle can be detected by radar, sonar, infrared, or any other means. Radar is a detection system that tracks the location, speed, and direction of a vehicle by sending out sharp bursts of radio waves and then listening for an echo that bounces off the vehicle. By measuring how long it takes for the echo to arrive back and how much of a frequency shift has occurred comparing to the transmitted signal, the distance to the vehicle, its speed and direction can be tracked. One way an aircraft is made more stealthy is by reducing its radar cross section or radar signature, which an aircraft produces. The overall measurement we'll be taking in this project is LUX. LUX is a measurement of overall intensity of light in an environment for any given area or distance from the source. My independent variable is shape, material of the sheet used, color of the material. Dependent variable is luminance or LUX value, and the control variable is intensity of LED-like source. The procedure for this experiment is to place the first shape inside the cardboard box, aligning it with the flashlight and the lux meter. Turn on the lux meter and turn on the flashlight and take the readings. After taking readings, turn off the flashlight. The lux value should be taken for smooth and crumbled both conditions for all shapes in pink, white, yellow, A4 sheets and aluminum foil. The results, here are photographs of my project. Here, as you can see, the pointed edges are closer to the surf, closer to the light source, and they are called the leading edge one. And the reverse of this position is the leading edge two, which has the wider side closer to the source. I have taken two trials for each shape, V, W, N, and cylinder shape, both crumbled and smooth. I have taken leading edge one and leading edge two for W and V. The yellow color paper has lesser lux values than the other colors, but not the foil. Aluminum foil gives lesser lux values for smoother surface than crumbled surfaces. 
irrespective of the shape. The leading edge one, where the pointed edges are closer to the surface, closer to the source, give consistently lower values than the than the leading edge two, the reverse of that position for both smooth and crumbled surfaces in pink color sheet. Crumbled nature is adding an advantage to stealth for white surfaces, but not in other colors or foil. In case of the A4 sheet, the crumbled paper, irrespective of the shape or color, always give low values. But those values were not as good or lower as the aluminum smooth surface readings, especially the smoother B foil. Hence, I can conclude that the shape that has the least surface area, which is the V shape, when, smooth, when used in smoother surface, the best stealth is achieved. Using radar absorbing materials on the skin of the surface, skin of the skin of the aircraft, like special paints or gold coating, the University of Bristol, England, were inspired by cephalopods like squids, octopuses, which use camouflage to hunt prey and hide from the predators. They have pigments on the surface of their skin called chromatophores. These pigments are con connected to the nervous system and expand and contract after detecting the surroundings, intensity, and color. This was used. This was used in modern warfare techniques to hide an army tank by a rubbery material called electroactive dielectric elastomer. It was controlled by electricity and would expand and contract to create colors for camouflage. This is my project. This is my project. Yeah, Fatima, I have a question for you. Uh, did you use the same dimension for all the papers you tested? Can you repeat? Did you use the same dimension for all the papers? Uh, for example, you tested a, a yellow color A4 sheet and aluminum foil, right? Yes. Pink color, right? Did you use the uh, same dimension? Yes, ma'am. Mm, but was, uh, in our uh, in your picture or uh, the V shape aluminium foil uh, and the W shape aluminium foil seems they are uh, uh, not uh, equal in dimension. Mama, we've taken these photos from above, ma'am. Uh, okay, okay. And very good, very good presentation and uh, collected uh, data presentation is good. Uh, one more question, Rustra. Actually, in the trial, uh, you mentioned for the one given shape, for the trial one and two, you mentioned the same luminance. No, how sir. Is, how is it? You see your table? Then luminance average. Sir. Yeah, yeah. First trial. column is shape, uh, second column is trial, Third column, trial one, trial two. Uh, last column, you take an average, okay? I think, yes. I think so, okay, fine. Trial one and two, uh, you have noted the three uh, values in one trial. In the second trial also, you mentioned three trial, three values. Uh, but uh, trial one, you should have given the average. Trial 2 also you should have given the average. And Sir, then, for trial 1 leading edge 1 and trial 2 leading edge 2 or leading edge 1, I have taken the average. And for trial 1 leading edge 2 and trial 2 leading edge 2, I have taken the average for V and W alone. Okay, okay fine. Good work. Uh, congratulations. Good work. Fine. Thank you, sir. And uh, thank you, judges. That was a beautiful presentation by Fatima. The next candidate in line is MPS24 K. Achara from Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. I repeat, MPS24 K. Achara, Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. Achara, are you there in line? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, 
Good morning to everyone. My name is E. Atta of Sun Standard Institution from Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. Today, I'm going to talk about my project. Let's see my title. This is my title of the project. How do magnetic field affect the rate of flow of water? Before going into the project, let's see uh, two questions. That is uh, how I get interested in this project and for what purpose I took this project. I took this project because of most of the children who only know to play with the magnet. But by this project, they can know additional information about the magnet because they, they can know more information about the magnet. There was more information to learn in the magnet. By, by seeing this project, they can know additional information about the magnet. And how do I get interested in this project means, like everyone, I also thought, like, what can a magnet do more than ripple or attack? But by seeing this project, I was glad to see because the result was showing that the magnetic field is affecting both the salt solution and the tap water, slowing the water force. Let's go into the project. This is my abstract of the project. This science for the project investigates how do magnetic field emitting a permanent magnet with a affect the rate of flow of water. This experiment is done using salt solution and the tap water with magnetic field as well as without the magnetic field. This is my hypothesis of the project. Uh, under the influence of a quantity magnetic field, the salt solution have a lower rate of flow than the tap water. And the required materials for this project are 400 ml of tap water, 50 grams of salt, two beakers, one butyl, one measuring cylinder, one stopwatch, two permanent magnets. And let's go to the important part of the project, that is project how to do. Before going that, we have to know that how we are measuring the rate of flow, that is by the stopwatch which you seen in the materials. Let's go to the important part of the procedure. First, we have to take 200 ml of tap water by the measuring cylinder to bury it. And we have to check the rate of flow by the stopwatch and take the average. But without the magnet, we have to do for four to five times, we have to do and take the average. Now, same process to be done, but we have to do with the average, uh, no, sorry, with the magnet. And uh, another time, you have to take 200 ml of tap water by the measuring cylinder and 50 grams of salt and to pour it into the burette and check the average that is by the rate of the flow of water by the stopwatch and take the average but without the water we have to do same process repeated but with the magnet we have to do and take by seeing this all average on there we can get an observation here for your convention there is a table and a graph for you here by seeing this graph you can know that the pink color is without the magnet and blue color is the with magnet but by seeing this graph you can tell that the tap water and salt solution being affected by the magnet let's go to the conclusion of the result by seeing this graph you can tell that the uh, two tap water and salt solution being reduced when the magnetic field is applied thank you any other questions to ask Ma'am? Yes, uh, Achara. My, I have one question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any effect of hardness of water on the data which you have collected? Yes, ma'am. When, ma oh, yes, ma when the magnetic field is affected only, the rate of flow is becoming low. But in normal, it was not becoming low. It was not, but when you are comparing both, the salt solution is uh, always in low. We are using two types of water. One is top water and tap water and mix it with this salt solution and other waters. So in which water the results are better according to you? Salt water or tap water? Tap water is more than the salt water, ma'am. With water the magnetic field as well as without the magnetic field. Okay. Okay, Aj. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Achara. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, in your uh, data representation, you presented data for uh, tap water. Tap water and salt solution. Yeah, kind. You just to show the data table, please. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. The table and the graph. We oh, represented only in graph. Yes, ma'am. By seeing the pictures, we can know, ma'am, that the without magnet and with magnet, there are more difference between them. Yeah, it is okay. But in your uh, uh, research paper, we didn't find any data table for salt water and also for the trials. Oh, ma'am, here's a table and graph you can see, no, ma'am. It is for uh, tap water, right? The table is for... Yeah, sure. Okay, ma'am. Fine. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.
Thank you, Akshara. Thank you, judges. The next in line is MPS 25, M. Janani, also from Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. I repeat, MPS 25, M. Janani from Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. Janani, you're in line. Yes, you can start, Ma. Good morning to all. I am Janani from Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. Title of my project is Effects on Temperature of Battery Life. Abstract. This experiment was conducted using Duracell Enzyme and it was conducted to find out how temperature changes affect the life of reposable batteries. This experiment was conducted using Duracell Enzyme and ever ready size assess disposable batteries. Hypothesis batteries will last. Batteries will last room temperature about 20 degrees Celsius. We hypothesize that manufacturer would design the batteries to perform optimally at room temperature. Since most batteries would, since most batteries uh, uh, would be used by consumers in the environment at room temperature. Procedure for this experiment, independent variabilities is the type of battery and the room temperature. The, depend, the independent variable is the time taken for the battery to turn out of time. This is determined by checking the time with the clock. The constant uh, control variables are the power of the fan motors, the size of the batteries and the humidity in room temperature. In room, the performance of the batteries could be tested at room, tem at room temperature at 80 degrees Celsius, 22 degrees Celsius, and 26 degrees Celsius. On the first day of testing, room temperature is brought down to 80 degrees Celsius by adjusting the air conditioner. Uh, once the temperature has started to stabilize, the three fans are marked with batteries named. Example, engineer, Duracell, and MLED. Both the three fans are powered on the clock started with the help of uh, assistant. The time taken for the battery run to uh, low till each of the fan stops is recorded in the table given below. On the second day, the experiment is repeated to setting the room temperature to 22 degrees Celsius. Once the room temperature has started, the procedure is repeated and the time taken for the pants to stop is recording table below. Temperature is adjusted to 26 degrees Celsius. Temperature is adjusted to 20 degrees Celsius. Procedure 4 is repeated again. Materials required for this experiment science star project and air conditioned room, three engineer AASI batteries, three Duracell AASI batteries, three AA batteries operated table fan ensure that they are the same make and model. A clock or stopwatch and assistant. Observation. It is observed that there is not much difference in the durability of battery as temperature changes. However, it was found that enzyme lasted only the longest and the ever ready battery was the fastest to go flat. Conclusion the hypothesis that batteries will that is the last the longest uh, at uh, our room temperature about 26 degrees Celsius is not proven to be true. We hypothesize that the performance of batteries will be affected by changing temperature. Uh, temperature, the difference in the temperature was perhaps too small to observe, observe the changes. Batteries are used to operate small portables, torch light, watches, and cameras. They help. Uh, to operate small devices in the place where electricity supply is not available. However, the disposable battery is a problem because they contain chemicals that are not environmentally friendly. The chart below represents the results of our experiment. The horizontal bars represent the time taken for the fans to stop in minutes and the vertical bars represent the Temperature in the degree Celsius. Thank you.
ma'am yes uh, judges any questions yeah janani yes ma'am uh, what made you to select this project well yes, sir uh, i want uh, to Yes, I want to check check the temperature and the angina duration and everything that is. I like this topic uh, and I want to do this. Yeah, fine. So in the summer, you enjoy doing this project in a air conditioned room. Yes, miss. <laughs> Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. We are in the building, no matter. So we have a, a more air, air condition the room. Is. So I want to take this project. Okay, ma. Very good. Very good, dear. Okay. All the best, uh, Janani. All Thank the best. Uh, Thank you, Alia, ma'am. Uh, I just I next uh, call upon MPS twenty six Syed Farhan S from Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. I repeat MPS twenty six Syed Farhan S from Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. Syed, you're there in line. Yes, ma'am. You're audible and you can carry on, pa. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Syed Farhan S. The title of my project is. Day three D. The purpose of my project is making of faster and safer data transmission using lighter. I got interested in this topic when I come to know the speed of lighter three lakh miles per second approximately, and when light can generate electricity using solar panels, I thought that why can't we generate why can't we transmit data using lighter? Also, as light cannot pass through opaque obstacles, it may be secure and no one can hack it. My lighter project has two segments. One is the transmitter part, and the other is the receiver part. In the transmitter segment, the mobile phone will act as encoder, light amplifier, and LED. On the other hand, in the receiver part, the LDR sensor will be connected to the Arduino Uno, and Arduino Uno will be connected to the LCD using one ohm resistor. If we detect any content on the mobile, it will be displayed on the LCD by first getting encoder as Binary codes, and then it will get converted into light impulses, and then transmit to LED. In turn, it will be received by the LDR sensor, and again it will get decoded as six after passing through the Arduino Uno. We will put different colored transparent plastic paper on the LED of the mobile, and send text messages from the phone, and send text messages, and receive for which color the LED, the LCD, the text message is displayed in the LCD, and In the result, we found that the text clarity was very low, while red and orange colored transparent plastic papers were used. The clarity of the text improved for yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, respectively. From the bar diagram, we can see that the red light has the minimum intensity, and violet light has maximum intensity. Since the intensity of light, intensity of light, and the Current flow is directly proportional. The more brightness of light, the more the electricity flow. I had colored my topic with rainbow colors and highlighted my name with violet color to show the fact that the violet light has more intensity. I will show how it's working. See the paper. Don't in the LCD. Now I am using red color. Hello. It's visible in the LCD in a new manner. Not visible. Now I will use violet color. Now I 
and this is ORU. It's shown in the SPD clearly. Now I am using green color. Typing good morning. It's shown in the SPD. I'm using blue color. Thank you. Right. Here is the brightness more because of that the LDR is getting connected with the uh, outside light. So the text is not visible properly because of the outside light is, light has more intensity. And the display is getting many letters because it's connected with the lights here. Thank you. And yes, judges. Alia, ma'am, he's finished with this presentation. Any questions? No questions sir, from my side. All the very best. Yeah, all the very best for her. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Farhan. Thank you for your presentation. The next candidate in line is MPS 27 Gopika from Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. I repeat, MPS 27 Gopika from Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. Gopika, you're there in line? Good morning, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you're audible and you can start. Good morning, ma'am. I'm Gopika in Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. My project name is Effective Voltage Chain on Electrolysis. Now I'm going to explain my project. My project is performed to investigate the relationship between the DC voltage applied to an electrolyte and the rate of hydrogen gas produced during the process of electrolysis. Introduction. The most variety of reactions that one can perform as perform as via electrolysis makes it a useful tool not only for classroom demonstrations but also in countless types of industry. Hypothesis. Increasing the DC voltage applied to an electrolyte solution increases the rate of release of hydrogen gas. Material sequence. The material sequence for this sensor project is of tap water, 4 tablespoons of salt, 41.5 volt battery, battery holder, two jumper wires that have supply clips at both ends, two test tips, two PVC insulated copper wire, 5 mm, 150 mm in length each stopwatch, pair of pliers, black color formula marker pen. Procedure. Step 1. For the sensor product, the independent variables or the number of batteries used. Example, the DC voltage applied to the electrolyte. The dependent variable is the time taken to collect the release hydrogen gas. The distance measured by using the stopwatch. The constraints control variables or the amount of the salt content in the electrolyte solution. The amount of oxygen collected in the test tube and the surface area of the exposed copper in the electrolyte solution. Step 2. I step the insulation of both copper wire, the exposing approximately 30 mm of wire on both sides. Using the sliders, bending the wires into gas shape and placing them inside the beaker as in the picture photo. Step 3. I fill the beaker with water and added 1 tablespoon of salt. I diluted the salt in water. Step 4. Drawing a line using the permanent marker pen. Along the circumference of the test tube, the line should be placed at about the center of the test tube foot. Step 5. The two test tubes with water and place it inverted inside the beaker in the exposed copper wire should be placed entirely within the test tube. The test tube started by using one DC 1.5 volt battery. The battery terminals are connected to the copper wire using the jumper wires. Start the stopwatch along the dictate to accumulate for the level of the line. Recording the stand in the table below, procedure 3 to 5 or repeat that using two batteries, DC 3 volt, 
three batteries PC four point five volt and four batteries PC six volt. Step five: the two test tubes. Observation: the research shows that increasing number of batteries DC voltage results a faster rate of release of cathode. Increasing the below the present the result of my sensor experiment. Table: the table is here. Voltage applied PDC and the measure of the minutes are shown in the table. Conclusion: My hypothesis has been proven to be true. Increasing the DC voltage applied to the electrolyte solution, the speed of the release of hydrogen gas. The electrolysis has many uses. It is used in industrial processes like electroplating as well as in certain machining devices like the pH meter. Astronauts use electrolysis to produce the oxygen in space. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, good, uh, Gopika. My question to you is: Can you define what is electrolysis? Electrolysis is a electrolysis is a process. It is an I just think gas produced. So, as soon as it is used to effect of voltage, no, no, that is uh, the I'm not asking the application. What exactly do you mean by the electrolysis? Sir? Electrolysis, sir. It is used carrying for... the experiment, you must know the concept, the basic concept of the electrolysis, then you can proceed ahead for the experiment. Okay, anyway, don't get tensed. Okay, you can uh, refer it and improvise your uh, presentation. Your confidence level is very good, uh, Gopika. Your uh, communication skills are also very good. So I wish all the very best to you in your future endeavors. Good luck. Okay. Like all the best, Gopika. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, judges. That was quite motivating to my candidate. I call upon the next candidate, JPS38, Suhail H from Imam Shafi Metric High Secondary School. I repeat, JPS38, Suhail from Imam Shafi Metric High Secondary School. Assalamu alaikum and good morning to all. I'm Suhail. I'm studying ninth standards. Imam Shafi Rahmat Matriculation High Secondary School, Adiram Batina. The project is estimation of formic acid from different types of ants. From there, while I was playing, an ant stung me on my index finger. Immediately, the thought swollen, but I did not get that much of swollen on my when a red ant had already stung me. I already knew the main reason for this swelling is presence of formic acid in both ants. I would like to know how many grams of formic acid present in each ant. I selected two different types of ant, one black ant and another one red ant. By using volumetric analysis, I calculate the amount of formic acid present in both ants. Put the sugar and the red clumps near the ant nest. The ask to my friends, to collect both ants. Finally, I got both ants. I went lab. I took one container, 20 ml of water, put the ant, crushed it with proper equipment, and filtered it separately. Make up as needed. I test in one. I took burette solution is hydrochloric acid. Pipette solution is 20 ml of sodium hydroxide and the transfer conical flask. Two to three drops, Napoleon indicator added. Same plus. I dated again standard hydrochloric acid solution. Disappearing of pink color was the end point. First, I found it normality of NaOH. I used the formula N1 equal to V2 into N2 divided by V1. 
I got result. The result is 0 0.0119 normality. Hydration 2. I used same method followed, but I changed bureau solution only. I took here formic acid. With the help of normality of NaOH, I found normality of formic acid in red tank. I got result. The result is 0 0.0602. By using by using this formula, I calculate the amount of formic acid present in red tank. The formula is normality in the equivalent weight in 500 ml divided by 1000. I got result. The result is 0 0.034 gram. Third, titration 3. The same method followed black hand. The normality of black hand 0 0.074. The weight of black hand 0 0.034 grams. Conclusion, black ants have more formic acid than red ants. Thank you. Okay, Sohel, uh, you have uh, done some volumetric analysis, right? Which type of titrations? Uh, there are four types of titration under volumetric analysis, acid base, okay, complexometric, redox titrations. Which titration you have performed? The name of the titration. Is it acid based titration? Acid complexometric titration. Acid and base titration. Okay, what is the other name used for this acid based titration? It's also known as utilization. Titration. titration. Okay. Now, can you just tell me the uh, pH range of the phenolphthalein indicator? You said that you have used phenolphthalein indicator for uh, uh, carrying out your experiment. Why did you choose only this indicator? Why not methyl orange or uh, muroxide, any other indicator for your experiment? Why did you specifically use phenolphthalein? Is there any correlation with the sodium hydroxide and the uh, and the HCl which you have used and the phenolphthalein indicator? Okay. So I wish all the very best to you. Thank you. All the best, Suhail. Thank you. Thank you, judges, for your suggestions for the candidate. I call upon JPS 39 A.B. Asha from Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. I repeat, JPS 39 A.B. Asha from Fatima Central Senior Secondary School. Asha, you're there in line? Yes, ma'am, I am. You're audible and you can start. Good morning. I'm also a class 10. I belong to junior level physical science. I'm from Fatima CSS School. The title of my project is Biodiesel. And the purpose of this project is recently I saw petrol and diesel costs are increasing day by day. And also our land, water, air is getting polluted because of the toxic gas excreted from the vehicles. So I thought I have a solution for this. And I got an idea to make a biodiesel. Biodiesel is a pure form is taken from vegetable oil and some soya beans got into a process and it is converted into biodiesel. So my hypothesis is that biodiesel can make our world less polluted. The experiment which I undergone was, these are the materials which I use for this project. One is eye balance. As we are all handling, handling with acids, we need eye protection so that we can be safe about it. And conical flask, beaker, dropper, distilled water and the main thing is 100 ml of vegetable oil 
ethanol, and potassium hydroxide. The procedure which I followed was, first I took a clinical flask and measured the weight before and after the procedure. And I had a 100 ml of vegetable water in it. Later, I added ethanol and potassium hydroxide with a 50 percentage of corrosive and I stirred it very slowly. After stirring it for around 10 minutes, I allowed it to stand until it gets separated for two layers. And later, with the use of a dropper, I separated the two layers. And after that, I added a distilled water of 100 ml. And again, I stirred it very well for around 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And later, I allowed it to stand so again get separated into two layers. After that, with the use of another new dropper, I took the upper solution, which is pure diesel. And I weighed that solution. After I got, what I got is, it was very surprising because in 100 ml of vegetable oil, I was able to make around 1.15 m, 115 ml of biodiesel. It's very useful and it's very efficient also. And these are the things which I've done in our chemistry lab to undergo this expectation. And according to the statistical data, I got to know that United States of America is in the leading producer of biodiesel. The process is transesotification which is converting the vegetable oil or soya beans into the process that we are adding methanol, potassium hydroxide, to 50 percent corrosive, and converting into a useful and efficient biodiesel. My result, as my thing, I put this was correct. I burned it a little with the help of mastic, and yes, it got fire. So here, this biodiesel is used in hotels, restaurants, we are blending this with the cooking oil so that it will be useful. And also, we can use it as petroleum or else we can blend it with petroleum for vehicles. It is a very pure form and also it is very less toxic than the fuel. So I hope you all use the petroleum in a very good way so that we can conserve the biodiesel and we can have it for future generations. Because as we know that sustainable development is very important for our generation. We need to save water, minerals and so on things for future generations. Same like that, we need to save a petroleum. Maybe it will cost maybe our own. So that we are making a natural biodiesel so that it won't harm our world, it will save our money, and also it will be very useful. My conclusion is, as I said earlier, we need something for our future generation. So having a biodiesel will be less effective. So that we will be a part of uh, people that who want to save this world. Thank you for your time and for your consideration. <laughs> Yeah. Asha, did you use any bioorganisms? No, ma'am. I used only vegetable oil of 100 ml water and 100 ml of distilled water, ma'am. That's it. Okay, the word, because when you're using the word bio, biodiesel, so you're not using any bioorganisms. Uh, yes, ma'am. There are two things. Either we can use vegetable oil or else we can use soya beans. And also we can use some vegetable peels and base materials also. But I prefer to use vegetable oil. Okay, Asha. All the very best. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Asha. And thank you, judges. That was uh, an, indeed a beautiful presentation. I call upon the final candidate for today's presentation, JPS40. Mohammad Maz M from KH Metric Boys High Secondary School. I repeat, JPS 40, Mohammad Maz from KH Metric Boys High Secondary School. Mohammad Maz, you're there in line. JPS 40, Mohammad Maz. Sam, ma'am. Hmm? Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa and good afternoon on and off. Myself, Yam Muhammad Maza, class 10, from Cash Matriculation Boys Secondary School, Tandyan Dhyal Amrani Perishik, Tamil Nadu. I am very happy to stand before you all to present my research work on replica to LPG low cost stuff. Excuse Next. me, Muhammad Maza. Yes, tell me, ma'am. Uh, you please uh, change the camera. Your face is not visible. Oh, we can't look into your display booth. Okay. 
Please proceed. Yeah, please proceed. As for my project, replica to LPG allies low cost is tau reaction of gasoline with water. I selected pet I selected petrol, kerosene, and diesel to react with different kinds of water, such as normal fresh water, sea water, and distilled water. It's such a <clears throat> to extract fuel producing gas. At the end, I got I get fuel from my experiment, which led to the replica to LPG allies low cost is tau. I carried out my experiment. I had to compare all the gasoline which expressed to achieve my goal, which is a low cost is tau, where the poor people can easily afford. By doing lots of research work, I found that petrol with salt water, which give more numbers of days rather than other. Next, selection of the problem, statement of problem. The price of liquefied petroleum gas, LPG domestic gas cylinder, 14.2 kg hiked by 50 per cylinder to be at 769 per cylinder in Delhi form. News agency and I reported this is the second price of hike the month of February. The oil marketing companies had increased the price of non subsidy LPG cylinder by 25 in metro cities on February. As per 15 March 21, rate of LPG is given below. The retail price of a 14.2 LPG cylinder in Chennai stood at around rupees 900. So now we can't able to serve in this hard pandemic situation. I have planned and designed the replica for LPG. Next, introduction about petrol. When people consider petroleum, they first think of energy. Petroleum and other fossil fuels now provide more than 86% of energy consumed by mankind. Next, about diesel. Diesel in full general, you know, any liquid fuels used in diesel engine. Kerosene also known as paraffin is a combustible hydrocarbon liquid which is derived from petroleum. About seawater. Seawater, water is the mix of the oceans and seas covering more than 70% of their surface. Seawater is a complex mixture of 96%, 96.5% water, 2.5% salt and smaller amounts of other substances including divided in organic, organic materials. Next. Hypothesis. Can different gasoline react with water to produce fuel? Which one is the best among them a low cost? Next. Design of study. Independent variable. Fuel. Dependent variable. Different kinds of gasoline. Controlled variable. Water. Next. Purpose of the project. To produce fuel with the reaction of different kinds of water along with salt water. Next. Materials required. Two plastic bottles. Silicon tube, air perform motor, battery, switch, circuit, lighter, stove. Next, procedure. I have taken two half filled petrol and water bottles and inserted silicon tube connected with air pump motor, which gives less to the stove. When I switch on the motor, When I switch on the motor, the pressure will apply to bottle first to the bottle second. The Then I started my further research to compare all the gasoline <coughs> with different kinds of water to get fuel. This is due to the evolution of hydrogen gas. This is, the fuel can control its controller as in tube. It gives blue as a red flame. I observed the following data to compare the petrol, diesel, and kerosene with normal water, sea water, and distilled water. Mm. 
Next, data analyze. Reactions of petrol and water. Reaction, petrol versus water, the burning time, 10 minutes, consumption, 14 ml. Then graph this place here, petrol versus water, burning of 10 minutes, we lost 14 ml of petrol. Petrol was a sea water, burning time, 10 minutes, consumption, 8 ml. Then graph this place here, graph this place here, we just lost some 8 ml of petrol. Then, petrol versus distilled water, no minutes, no fuel. Then graph is this place here, we'll, petrol versus distilled water, no fuel with distilled water. Next, reactions of diesel with water. Diesel versus water, 10 minutes, 21 ml. Graph shows here, burning diesel versus water, 10 minutes, we just lost 21 ml of diesel. Diesel was a sea water, 10 minutes, 15 ml. Then graph is this place here. We lost to some 15 ml of diesel. Diesel was a distilled water, zero minutes, no fuel. Then graph also displays here. Diesel was a distilled water, no fuel with distilled water. If increase the consumption of time, increase the consumption also increase. Example for 20 minutes, it takes 30 ml of diesel with water. Reaction of Reaction of kerosene with water. Kerosene versus water, burning time, 10 minutes. Diseases of petrol, 27 ml. Then graph also displays here. We just lost 27 ml. 27 ml. Then kerosene was a sea water, 10 minutes, 42 ml. Then graph also displays here. 42 ml of petrol lost. Next, kerosene was a distilled water, zero minutes, no fuel. And graph also shows here, no fuel with distilled water. If time also increase, the consumption also increase. For example, 20 minutes, it take around 60 ml for kerosene with water. Next, result. From above experiments, the gasoline and water works outlet to produce fuel with the is useful for cooking process. Among them, reactions of petrol with salt water con consumes less amount comparing to others. Next, discussion. In my research work, safety measures are very, very important. The bottles filled with petrol, diesel should be kept too far away from burner. Sometimes due to the high voltage, pump motor gets excess amount. Change and observation which take place. The gas line will get back to water bottles so invisible, but fuel won't produce from this kind of process. The connecting silicon tube should be kept straight for the gas pass comfortably. Then application. My low cost stove is very, very useful and helpful for poor people who can't afford LPG. It is very, very useful for lab burners in spite of using gas cylinder. We can use our stove. We can control the flame by using controller. This stove is helpful for baking process. I can be used in hotels in spite of commercial cylinder. Kitchen stove is really on the applications of direct heat, the cooking process, and may also contain can oven used for baking. For future enhancement of research, if it works out in two wheeler engine, it may be great evolution for petrol vehicles. Further enhancement. For future use, I further researched on two wheelers engine give me good and possible results. Next, calculation. From above experiments, I have concluded that if the gas line reacts with water to evaluate hydrogen gas with very useful for burning process. They, I have compared all the three petrol, diesel, and kerosene with water to get fuel. This uh, really worked out and my, uh, my thought process of replacing LPG came through. Also, from data analyzed, consumption of petrol with sea water is better. Up next, acknowledgement. I am very much thankful to Almighty Allah for this innovative research working opportunity. I am very, I'm, I'm over, uh, I'm blessed and grateful to acknowledge my respect to all those who have helped my put his ideas well above the level of similarity and into something concrete.
थैंक यू अस्सलाम वालेकुम वरहमतुल्लाहि वबरकातहू वालेकुम अस्सलाम वरहमतुल्लाहि वबरकातहू मास योर प्रेजेंटेशन इज वेरी गुड एंड यू हैव डन एक्सटेंसिव डाटा कलेक्शन ऑन योर रेप्लिका टू एलपीजी राइट एंड आई विश मे दिस becomes really a replica to uh, lpg so in future you Thank have you, uh, because this is the need of the r okay so you have to take up your work uh, for the further research work and uh, i wish this to you thank you god bless you mohammed bas thank you ma'am thank you mas thank you ma'am welcome thank welcome thank you i'm uh, welcome ma'am so nazi sir yes so nazi sir yes yeah sir we have finished with all the candidates for today's presentation sir oh okay okay fine we can conclude that. yes sir i take this opportunity to express my heartfelt gratitude and thanks i do have a list in front of me firstly i would like to thank all the teachers for their guidance students for their efforts and parents for their kind cooperation i extend my heartfelt thanks to our, our honorable judges spending their time expressing their informative suggestions and sharing their valuable ideas to our candidates and greatly motivating them for their future endeavors thank you nazir sir for your constant guidance and support which made this presentation a great success once again a warm thank you to all thank you sir thank you judges and thank you candidates uh, thank you judges thank you sister thank you so thank much you. Uh, nazir sir for making us a part of this uh, science fair it was really very good you know uh, because i generally deal with the university students but school students they are taking up such projects and then they are the way they are explaining and the, the way they are expressing themselves is really very appreciable and it was really very nice to get connected to the science fair especially with the school children where we don't get uh, opportunity to meet them so and i congratulate uh, uh, the organizers for taking up this uh, uh, task of making student uh, uh, to present their work their innovativity and whatever ideas they are having in their mind so it's very nice and i think i may be applying this concept uh, at the university level uh, too also because uh, we also have uh, quite a good number of students for the bsc pg phd so this can be taken up uh, to their level also i i personally feel and i got uh, many ideas also when i got connected to your uh, uh, science fair sir thank you so much uh, nazir sir for uh, inviting me as a judge for your esteem uh, uh, science fair thank you thank you one and all thank you sir yeah of course uh, nazir sir Uh, it's, it's my great pleasure to be here today, and I thank uh, the Omiat for uh, giving me this uh, wonderful opportunity. Alhamdulillah, I learned a lot from these students and the organizers. So wonderful work, sir. May Allah guide uh, uh, and accept all our deeds in both the worlds, inshallah. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I really congratulate all the students uh, and especially the teachers and the school management who support all these students in their research during this pandemic time i know how the as a principal of a school i know how the school how the schools are being suffer now because of this pandemic of financially and regarding the resource uh, in many areas many schools are suffering and even all in these uh, struggles i really really appreciate and congratulate all the teachers and the uh, management whoever uh, who are standing behind this these projects thanks and thank all you. the best for uh, the future and use of all the children thank you thank you alhamdulillah and i thank shamim madam also for being a co guide with me <laughs> so much thank you sister and it's very nice to talk with you today inshallah later we will uh, discuss uh, 
and my humble request to you to inshallah i will approach you in future for my students projects so please guide us with pleasure not only your university students please guide our students to inshallah it's inshallah. my request it's yeah. my sister inshallah zarur madam come in sister thank you so much uh, yes yeah, sir uh, you discuss with uh, uh, dr alia and finalize okay 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 brother okay and then you submit the questions okay yeah fine thank you thank you one and all we can conclude with the dua okay fine subhanakallah ma adiyam dikastalam la ilaha illa anta okay thank you